While I was on the Commission on the Status of Women, I received a telephone call from Barbara McNabb, who was then the uh, state chair of the California National Women's Political Caucus. And this was fun because I had, had no idea that they had a California Women's Political Caucus. I knew we, about the national, but not the you know state organization already. And uh, she called me uh, to invite me to do a workshop on fundraising and on Republican, you know, women and so forth, uh, for the first uh, political campaign training that they were going to be holding in Sacramento. And uh, I was curious as how she happened to call me, and of course she was anxious to tell me. First she called the uh, Republican women in Sacramento. They referred her to the uh, Republican County Central Committee. They referred her to the uh, president of the California Republican Women. They then referred her to the state party. And the state party says, well, Mary Stanley, she's a Republican, a feminist, you know, and she's on the commission. So anyway, that was how I came to the National Women's Political Caucus. I came back so excited and so exhilarated. I'd found my home. I'd found my political party. I could be a Republican. I could be a feminist. And I could talk about the things that I was concerned about and not just have to wait my turn because we're all concerned about those things. My name's Carrie Beecham, and I got involved at the very beginning of National Women's Political Caucus. At First of all, it was the local, because that's what we were at first, was locals. Um, at the first charter meeting of uh, ours was National Women's Political Caucus of Santa Clara County. And you had to have three meetings, I believe, in order to be a charter group that could then join the national. Um, the state came after the locals because we had to establish about the first year was spent establishing our local organizations. Local meaning the county, in most cases. So why did you get involved with NWPC locally? Um, because I remember like it was yesterday that I picked up my phone at my desk and I was very active politically. And my friend Shirley Faust, who was about 20 years older than me, called and said, what are you doing Monday night? And I said, well, I'm going to city council, of course. It's Monday night. And I'm sure there was some issue of importance at the time in front of the council. And she just berated me and said, well, you can keep going to the council till doomsday. But until we organize ourselves, we're going to be nothing. So it's the first meeting of National Women's Political Caucus of Santa Clara County. And you're picking me up at 630. And I said, OK. <laughs> so I did. And we went. And it was wonderful. There were about 60 women there. Um, I was elected vice president of the local and from there became the state representative um, and we had a great time. I mean this was 1972 um, there was just all kinds of things to do and we had you know organized ourselves and our passion and our energy and um, great friendships and it was very multi-generational. My name is Barbara Zerby McNabb and in November of 1971 I received a notice about going to a meeting uh, for the National Women's Political Caucus. I had read the national press and I had assumed that organization was far further along uh, than it turned out to subsequently be. So I went to this large meeting and in fact really learned that there really was no organization, that, that there was a lot of press and a lot of hype, but there was no formal structure. And I had come out of uh, politics, I'd been active in, in uh, at the college level, um, I'd been chair of a group called the uh, Intercollegiate Conference on Government in Pennsylvania under Genevieve Blatt. And I had been a, a Democratic Party chairwoman when I was 21, which was the first age you could be one in Pennsylvania. And then I had moved to California because my husband at that time was doing graduate work there at Berkeley. So I must say it was a shock. When I left for that first meeting, my 
second husband said, well, you know, don't go get involved in something else. You're out just about every night of the week. And I said, well, this is different because this is already organized and probably all I'll have to do is send in my dues and be a paper member. But it's something I care about passionately. I mean, I had not seen either party be a vehicle for women to move forward politically. And at that time, the, both parties had divisions for women, but they were not considered part of the, of the main drive. So for me, it was a real blending of two things that I cared about, which were politics and feminism, and having women have equal rights, and, and having women be equal partners in the political process. So that was my first meeting. My name is Arlene Sontag. I was the state president in 1980 to 1981. Um, I believe I discovered uh, at least the Orange County chapter of NWPC. I was at UCI at the time. It was the early 70s, and I was doing my bachelor's degree. And one of my instructors, um, a lady, she was just a dynamite feminist, I took a class with her, and the uh, class was called Women in the Law, and we needed to do a term paper. And I decided to do my term paper on elected women officials, which, of course, there were not a lot of in those days. And so I ran around the county interviewing uh, whoever I could. I even went to Long Beach because they had an elected woman mayor. I mean, wherever I could reach out, I ran to find to, to do the term paper, which had to be like 30 pages or so. And we were pretty short on materials. But in between running around interviewing and um, not with equipment like this with a tape recorder in those days, uh, somebody mentioned that there was a women's organization in Orange County that was devoted to electing women candidates. And so I did find out, um, went down to a meeting, was utterly enamored of them and became active, yeah, and became a chapter president and went on to a state, you know, president. But I guess I probably have it all to blame on the, you know, paper, the term paper I was trying to do at UCI for my bachelor's degree. <laughs> Actually, that paper is in the library at UCI. Yes, yeah, because it was so unique for the time, they actually have it on the shelf somewhere at the UCI library, yeah. So it's kind of neat. So we are going to have to pull that paper up and go, and, go and review that. I'm Gloria Cap. I first heard about NWPC when the national organization was founded, and at that time I joined a NOW chapter and was living in New Jersey, and now the NOW chapter decided to include NWPC as part of their organization. So that was my first contact. I moved to California less than a year later, and in California my first contact with NWPC was when I started attending the LA Metro NWPC meetings. And the way I got into it at first, or made contact and, and sort of took the time to look it up, was I, I was working at a college and took a class uh, in, on women in politics um, through the political science department. And as a project, did a paper on women, in, on women in the National Women's Political Caucus and so made contact with NWPC. And from that time I joined and I'd been politically active prior to that time, but that was really my, my commitment in California. I'd, I'd moved to California in 1972 in the fall, which was during the McCarthy campaign for president, I worked in the McCarthy campaign uh, for president and decided at the end of that that I really wanted to focus my efforts on women and then proceeded to get involved with NWPC and that's where I've been ever since. My name is Marlene Tesson. Um, I was um, involved because a friend of mine who was a lawyer in Malibu had heard about NWPC and she said they're organizing one in the San Fernando Valley and you really have to go to this meeting because you'll really want to know what these women are involved in. And so I went, and I can't remember whether we met. I think we met at Judy Hirschberg's house the first time. And there were probably 20, 25 women there. And the whole concept of NWPC really got everybody set on fire. There were already several caucuses in the Los Angeles area, but this was for the valley, and that's, of course, the biggest suburb in Los Angeles. So we had people there from the west side and the L.A. caucus, and um, we got organized pretty quickly. I think we started with a little over 30 people. 
And because I was able to travel a lot more than others, um, I went to the state meetings that were occurring, the first couple occurred in the north, and I think here in Fresno. And, um, and as we got better organized, after about six weeks, I was sent by my caucus to represent them to the county coordinating committee. And uh, then I found out there were like eight or ten caucuses in the Los Angeles area. And Sharon Lezen, who was with the West Side Caucus, instantly made me the chair of the coordinating committee. My name is Judith Hirschberg. I'm from the San Fernando Valley. And I got involved with caucus work because I had moved from Massachusetts to California. And I was active in the League of Women Voters in Massachusetts except that any time that you got involved in a political campaign, uh, if you were a board member, they said no, no, no. So it's, it's a wonderful organization. But I was interested in political campaigns, and I didn't want anybody to say no to me. And then I found an organization called Women For. But Women For, usually it was a, a group of women who were to the left of center politically and endorsed a lot of men. And I thought, this isn't doing it either. So I got a call from Leslie Devine, who is a woman who lives in Calabasas, and she said, we're forming a new organization called MWPC. Do you want to come along? And I said, yeah, let's hear about this. And we went to her house, and there was a woman from San Francisco who talked to us about the caucus. This was in about 73. And uh, lo and behold, I became a founding mother of an organization that really evolved in my living room, truly in my living room. And uh, we, we found the requisite 20 women that might be interested in doing things for women. But I was interested in getting politically active, and I didn't have to support the men because they had their own support system. I wanted women to be there to represent me. So that's how, that's how I got involved. My name is Jane Hassler Hennig. Um, uh, it is a long story how I came to NWPC. Um, I had actually heard about the National Women's Political Caucus <clears throat> very, very early before I uh, became a part of it. But I thought it was for elected women. It sounded too official to be for just people who wanted to join. Um, what happened is that I grew up in a community in Illinois where uh, if you were involved in politics, you had real power. My father was a county committeeman in that county. And when 